What are we going to do? That was the right stuff. <laughs> okay. So this is a little 1 8 a boost glider I built uh, back when I was in college. So how, here's what we're going to do. It's already loaded up and everything. Got a got the streamer and all that jazz. Got a igniter here that is still workable. You can usually reuse these once or twice um, for these 1 8 a gliders. So we slide on there, just like that. And then the glider fits on here. That's all there is to it. Just a bunch of 1 16th and uh, 1 32nd balsa. So all the good stuff. Alright, so we got continuity. Alright, you ready to see it go, Caleb? Yeah. Alright, let's see if I can do this. So, engine skies are obviously sort of clear. <laughs> All right, going in five, four, three, two, one. And away it goes. Oh, it red barreled on me. Uh huh. That's hilarious. And it's still actually gliding, but I mean, I don't know if you can see this real well. Yeah, there you go. It's towing the pod around. It's amazing how long this is flying like that. That is actually the first time I've ever had that happen. <laughs> yeah, let's see here. And we did cut the igniter that time because we don't have continuity anymore. But anyway, <laughs> that was an oopsies. I think we'll stick with the way I now do pod assemblies on these. Yeah. Flip pretty good though. No, 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 Caleb. You're going to hurt it that way. All right. Anyway, fun little... Fun little times there. See ya. Alright, take two. I routed the shock cord directly over the top. I don't know if I did that last time, but uh, we're going to try and see if that'll uh, keep us from red baroning again. Um, but I gotta say, I much prefer the pod designs we have now. I have the pod way out in front. Alright, so... Got a continuity. That, uh, that igniter's lasted three launches. Pretty cool. Alright. You ready, Caleb? Yeah. Okay, going in five, four, three, two, one. And up it goes. And the glider is free this time. Pod is coming down nearby. I don't know how well this shows up. This thing is just soaring, which is kind of par for the course with it. I don't know if you can see it at all. Let me get us to focus here. All right, there we go. You should be able to see it. I hope that's not in lift. It is sure acting like it. Um, let me get out here in the middle of the field. So you can see. Uh, are we focus? Yeah, I think we're focused. I just don't know. I can't see it in the little viewfinder here. So. I apologize for that. This thing's floating like it usually does. But we are out of focus now. Yeah, it's in lift. Um, I mean, it's alright. It's coming down. It's taking a long time to do so. I go in. Actually, now it's not coming down. You silly airplane. At least I'm able to keep up with it here. I mean, this is hilarious. Circling right overhead. Stay out of the top of that tree. Ew. I don't like the looks of that. Or that. Huh. This is hilarious. So, folks, this is what it looks like when you launch into lift uh, with a free flight plane. And don't go in there. Perfect. It's coming down slowly. Right around the top of that tree. Still holding on. Man, that's a pretty flight. And there it is. be a fun retrieve 
and down. Sucks six. All right, so I've got a line on it. Actually, I can see it through the twigs there. I want to give you an idea. We we'll launched way back there at the house. So yeah, fun times. All right, I'll go get it, and then we'll do a little wrap up. All right, so I was correct. I did see it all the way to, to landing. Right there. Cute little guy. All right. Ew, it's wet too. I mean, you can actually feel dampness in it, which is, I mean, you think about that, that's bare balsa. It was flying around that well. I did a decent job trimming that. Go me for once. All right, back in a minute. All right, and there we are. Streamer did not deploy. I don't think they would actually DQ you for that on these. Um, it was a safe recovery, but yeah. So that was actually right over there, and this is where our launch setup was. So um, this is pretty good for small fields. It's just that they will uh, they'll get going. Um, but we've got the uh, micro Aletta and the micro wind lance that uh, don't launch quite as high. I mean, they're very good com performing gliders. They're competitive. Um, but they'll uh, you know stay a little closer to home, so they're real good for small fields. What do you think, Caleb? What's yeah, your... I want to point a ladder instead of ladder. Oh, there you go. All right, tell them bye bye. Bye. We'll see you next time. Bye. So I just thought I was done with that video, and here's why. Um. Let's first of all, let's get our little cutesy plane down. Let's see where did I put it up here on the shelf? The pod. Uh, Caleb did not put the streamer back in the pod. That's okay. I don't expect him to know how to do all that at this age. And here's a little glider. Um, I mean, the bottom line is it looks like I may have to make a kit of this. And I'm going to show you why here in just one second. I zoomed all the way out. Yeah, okay. So this is the National Association of Rocketry National Model Rocket Performance Records as of uh, September 28th of last year. Now, if I go down here and I scroll down and I click on Boost Glider right here, A class is uh, the equivalent of AMA Juniors. B class is the equivalent of AMA seniors, uh, so like uh, age 15 to 18, I believe. This, however, is what's important. Current standing 18th A Boost Glider national record um, set in, on May 10th, 2008, right there, by John Stenberg is 106 seconds. Now, I did not think this flight was extremely long. I mean, I knew it was a good flight, but I didn't think it was anything insane. Uh, but upon reviewing the footage, I see that the flight time on this aircraft, remember the record, is a minute 46. This was 2 minutes 29 seconds. Um, now, lucky flight? Yeah, not official. There's that. Um, but I would say it's repeatable because this airplane's fairly reliable. The catch is you got to be able to retrieve it um, to, to set your record. So that part will be a little interesting. Um, in terms of other aspects of this, yes, we're going to put a kit together for this. Um, I may not release this video until after that is uh, available so that y'all will, or, or at least in the works. Um, or maybe I'll just release the plans for it, I don't know. Uh, good little airplane, and um, the one big thing is we're going to revise the pod, because this has got the pod up front there, and that, that's not so great, um, as you saw on the, the Red Baroning episode. But anyway, just thought y'all might enjoy uh, seeing uh, kind of what's involved in setting a, you know, uh, it's unofficial, but uh, you know, what what's involved in, in setting a record in uh, rocketry. Um, not that that's the, I mean, we've done videos on that before, but uh, this time you get a little commentary, get to see kind of a, the informal nature of things, how it's sometimes a lucky flight. But uh, anyway, we'll see you.